Hi everyone, it's Emma from Gathering Beauty here. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful stamp clay bowls using a few simple materials. You'll need some white air dry clay. It's a self hardening clay that doesn't require firing and dries in around 48 hours. You can pick it up for around £5 from craft shops or online and I'll put the links for this and all the other materials in the description below. Next you'll need some stamps, some ink pads. These ones are from Versacolor but you could use any permanent ink pad as long as it's fade resistant. Some glass bowls, a rolling pin or a glass, a knife or a craft knife, some water to smooth out any cracks or wrinkles in the clay. And finally, some sandpaper or a sanding block to finish off your bowls. Okay, so let's get started. You need to take some of your air dry clay and knead it until it's soft and pliable. If you've been following my blog for a while now, you might recognise these bowls. They're one of my most popular DIYs and I still get a ton of questions about them. So I wanted to do this video tutorial to hopefully answer some of those questions as well as go more in depth into how to make them. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is start rolling out your clay. You can use either a rolling pin or like I am a glass and you need to roll it out until your clay is about three to four millimetres thick. Next, take your stamp and your ink pad and you want to gently tap the ink onto the stamp. Keep stamping your image until you're happy with the design and the ink will be wet so be careful not to smudge it when you press the next stamp into the pattern. The next thing you need to do is carefully cut around the bowl using your knife and I'm actually going to show you three different ways of making the bowls. This first one we're going to put the clay inside the bowl. So carefully remove the bowl and then this bit can be a little bit tricky but you need to peel the clay away from your work surface. You might need a knife to help and then we're going to carefully press the clay circle into the bowl. This bit can be a little tricky so you just need to keep turning it and pressing it, turning it and pressing it to make sure it's nice and even. For this next bowl we're actually going to take the clay and press it to the outside of the bowl instead of the inside. So turn your bowl over and take your clay and then you're just going to line it up in the centre of the bowl and then press down at the sides. You see it does sort of ripple out but you just need to keep working your way round and pressing it flat and then take some water and you want to smooth out any wrinkles or cracks in your clay make sure it's nice and smooth for this last bowl you're going to need to take a larger and a small bowl and then you want to line up your clay circle into the center as much as possible and then press the smaller bowl down on top. So you can see here there's a little crack in the clay there so you just need to press out where it's wrinkled up and then there you have it that's your third bowl. So you need to leave your bowls to dry for around 24 hours. They'll start to go pale white around the edge when they're dry you see in this one it's still grey in the middle, so you just need to gently press it out, push and wiggle it around until the bowl pops out. And be careful because the clay is still wet. Then you need to turn your bowl upside down, pop your bowl on top and let it finish drying for around another 24 hours. When your clay's dry it'll go a lovely pale white colour and then you can finish your bowls by sanding off any rough edges. And there you have it, a lovely stamp clay bowl. It's been four years since I first made these and they're still one of my absolute favourites so I hope you love them as much as I do. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!